Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy and my name is Pramod and in this video of Gengage Mastery for Software Test uh, uh, series, I'm going to talk about the how to clean your workspace and what are the advantages and there are a couple of things I would like to discuss about how you can maintain the workspace clean and smoother so that your Jenkins builds are uh, run uh, in very smooth manner and they don't have any issues related to workspaces as well as spaces. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so, all right. So first of all, why we need to delete or basically manage our workspace, right? This is very important. Uh, I think uh, this is the issue that you will encounter after some time because uh, generally whenever we are running Jenkins, right, uh, you will see there are lots of node modules and other dependencies of Maven and Gradle. Basically, you will add, keep on adding, right? And they will, uh, they will uh, the dependencies will be keep on increasing. And so what you want, what you will face is you will face some issues related to the low space, uh, disk issues, uh, your builds will become slower due to that. Uh, so traditionally we want to also delete some of the builds, right? So how you can delete the builds and maintain the workspace I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's go practical and uh, go directly to the Jenkins, right? Uh, the first option I think, which is very easy is, uh, let me make myself a little smaller, right? Uh, if you do uh, go to configure, this is our job that we are running. Uh, we are basically running a say, uh, Selenium a Java Maven project that we have to discuss, right? It's a page object pattern uh, project. And here uh, you will see, uh, you will see one option, uh, which is, uh, give me one second. Uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, basically do this, click this one, right? Uh, it will basically discard the old builds and it will basically keep the builds uh, depending upon the days that you have given, right? And there's a one other option, which is uh, very interesting. Let me give you uh, this, uh, give me one second. Yeah, this one, which is delete the workspace before the build start. Okay, so suppose you want to uh, start uh, fresh because you don't want to keep the older workspaces and all, uh, you can use this uh, option, which is delete the workspace before the build start. And you can go to advance. And uh, one thing is uh, interesting here is, uh, you can basically uh, do uh, like, you can basically add patterns, which directory you want to delete and which directory you want to don't want to delete. So suppose I'm fetching a GitHub repository, right? And I don't want to download the node modules every time, right? So you, you can basically add that I don't want to delete this uh, uh, node modules. I just need to delete everything apart from the node modules and rest of the things I can get it from the Git and I can just refresh that I want. So that you can do that uh, with this option, okay? And uh, so there are another things also uh, that you can do, give it a try. Uh, so the easiest way to clean workspace, I think I have already shown you. Let me, let me uh, go to the, okay, I'm going to leave this. Suppose you want to clean the uh, workspace, uh, there's an option which is wipe the current workspace and it will completely wipe out the pro uh, everything from your workspace, okay? So now you will, you don't have anything in this project. Uh, if you do a build now, it will again download from the GitHub repository. It will start installing the other, the node modules and other Maven dependency that you already had, right? If you see the build is running and uh, if you see, uh, we have successfully fetched the GitHub repository since M2 is local. So MT, uh, M2 related dependency were available and uh, there are a couple of Slack notification and other things, right? So that uh, we have done it successfully. So it is always is uh, good practice to delete the older builds. Uh, you can do the option, which is I have told you, right? Number of days. Uh, there are a couple of uh, scripts, uh, especially a batch file for a window and a normal uh, SH file for the Mac or Linux, where you can delete your older builds if you want to, that we are personally using in our company also, that you can leverage. So I hope uh, that makes sense. And uh, I hope that is clear now that how to properly manage or work with your workspaces and how to properly clean them and how you can manage them or delete the older builds if it is required based on the patterns and all. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.